two versions of it. One is uh, the balls that are all over here, which are being tracked by the system around you. That is what we use in a room like this. But when we're on set, we can use the, the outfit that he's wearing, um, which can allow us to uh, go on set with a much lighter weight system. We don't need all of these cameras, and we can take back the information and process the way he's moving and map it onto characters. So here you can see Alex being mapped onto K2SO. Uh, this is one of the things that we did with Alan Tudyk for Rogue One. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so we, um, before the film started, we actually brought Alan into this motion capture stage and allowed him to get basically a full day of experimentation with his character. Um, it really made him allowed him to understand how the character would move. Uh, you know, at, naturally a human being will move a little bit differently than a robot, and understanding how those motions map onto the character is really important. <laughs> yeah. And then on set, we would then um, have him in his, you know, wonderful, fancy computer outfit. <laughs> um, and then we would take that data back here that could then be processed, put on the K2SO, and our animators would then have the opportunity to take that data and fix any of the problems. So for instance, like when he lifts up his arm, you'll notice that sometimes little things go wonky around the, the shoulders. So um, the animators would be able to clean up problems like that, but also do things like make sure that the, the style of Alan Tudyk's performance really came out in the character of K2SO, because often that mapping is not a super simple mathematical expression. So they would look at it and realize that some modifications needed to be made um, in order to really truly capture what Alan was doing. So then, if there are physical limitations, <coughs> let's say um, K2SL, <coughs> and he's moving without those physical limitations, then, then um, if, for example, the arm doesn't go away after he does, yeah. will the program automatically stop there, or is that something that's fixed in post editing? Most of that will be fixed in post. Uh, it, it will also be fixed in the acting itself. So often, the experimentation that they do on this stage to understand their character gives yeah. them a lot of ideas about the types of things they shouldn't be doing with the character. Um, you know, it, for instance, being able to lift your arm all the way up like that is probably not something that K2S would be naturally able to actually do. <laughs> um, uh, but in, in the moment, we don't want to limit what the character can do, and that, you know, the animators will then take that at the end and try to, again, remap Alan's performance onto the limitations of the character. So if you were to walk over to the deep up on the screen? Uh, no, I'm not Ordinarily, yes, but he's not actually hooked up to anything. Uh, <laughs> 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 Can you need a?